that situated? Okay, so here actually, I'm a little there. That looks pretty good, right? Okay, um, so which one are we gonna do first? Let's do this one, well, I don't know, is it simple? No, it's not simple, but lots of, so this one I think I mentioned when I was um, showing the cards last week for the class to go. You basically need lots of ink pad colors. You don't need much else. Honestly, this stamp set speaks for itself with the stamping alone, but isn't that so pretty? So this one, I think I shared a card and it used a similar color combination and I loved the color combination so much. I was like, okay, I'm gonna adapt it um, for this uh, part of the stamp set because I think um, it was a little bit different. So anyway, I wanna show you guys um, how to make this card. Um, and actually there's no die cutting. Can you believe that? That does not happen very often. So let me tell you ink pad colors. I used Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo. I'm gonna need that one first. Granny Apple Green and Pineapple Punch. Isn't that, look at, what a great color combination. This one is retiring, so make sure if you don't have those retiring colors, get your Pineapple Punch ink pad and your ink refill if you don't have that because you don't want this to dry out and not have an ink refill. So, or any of the ink colors that are retiring, make sure you have the ink refills. Cardstock, ribbon, um, some, a couple of the ribbons I think are already sold out. So forget about those. But the ones that aren't sold out, if you want them, get those, okay? All right. Um, let's see if we got this stuff, right? Okay, so let me tell you dimensions while I'm thinking about it. So this we are starting with Melon Mambo. Let's see, actually, I wanna give you guys kind of a point of reference too. So if this is Melon Mambo. Let me show you guys what Magenta Madness. Can you see the difference? This one is it maybe a little bit more of a purpley pink and this is more of a bright pink? I don't know what I wanna say about it, but can you kinda of see the difference? I love comparing the colors. The lighting is a little weird in here too, but I think you kinda of get the idea. So this is the new Magenta Madness, and that is our uh, current Melon Mambo, okay? All right, so we have our piece of cardstock, our eight and a half by 11. We cut it along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, and along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Nice, crisp fold, I love that. Okay, then we have a piece of, this is Granny Apple Green cardstock, and like I said, all of the dimensions are going to be on my blog um, this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. So watch for that. It's not there yet. I got to get everything uploaded. Um, but take notes now if you want, or you can always come back later and get the dimensions um, on my blog. Okay, so the Granny Apple Green measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Okay, and then I have two pieces of Whisper White because I put one on the inside so that I wouldn't be confused. I did the exact same size on the outside and the inside. And these measure three and a half by four and three quarters. Again, two pieces of Whisper White. Okay, so let's do our stamping. Let's try to see. Good, I do have my. My grid paper here, we're gonna pull this one because I think, actually maybe I don't really stamp off the edge, do I? Well, just to be safe, here, we'll do this one. There, okay, so on our Whisper White piece, we're gonna start with our Flirty Flamingo. Actually, you know what I do need to do? I need to grab, I'm gonna use this guy, oops. We're gonna put this underneath here too. Because this is such a big stamp, I wanna use my um, stamp and pierce mat to kind of stamp on, because I wanna make sure that I stamp it well. Okay, so we're gonna start with our big, I think these are roses, you guys, I'm not, I love flowers, I just don't know the names of many of them, but I feel like these are roses. Do you guys think they're roses? Okay, so we're gonna stamp that one. I'm gonna press firmly, I'm not wiggling or rocking. Okay, good, look at, isn't, even that is so pretty. So compared to, where's the stamp set, right? That image is not done justice. Once you put ink to it, it starts to kinda, you see, okay, I get why this is such a pretty stamp set, right? Okay, and actually, you know what we're gonna do? Where's my other white piece? Because on the inside, I stamped that right there in the corner, so we're gonna do that also, so I don't keep opening and closing everything. Okay, so we're just gonna stamp that kind of in the corner. I love to do that, just kind of stamp in the corner. Hey, Erin, 
Hello and welcome. Okay, next, actually we'll leave this one right here. So Melon Mambo is what we're gonna use next. I know, Susie, the colors are awesome, aren't they? Okay, so with that little baby stamp, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is kind of, again, I love that watercolor look. And then there's this other little guy. I'm gonna turn it this way, right? We're gonna put that one right inside there, okay? So it's just kind of the inside of the flower, right? So that one is all done. Now we're gonna do the same thing inside these. So there's just this little, it's these stamps right here because you can't really tell. There's that one and there's that one. That one goes in there and that one goes inside there, I think. And they actually kind of added that one in there already. You can kind of see it there, okay? Okay, so stamp one inside there and then the other one right there, okay? So that's all we need. Actually, no, it's not. Let's do our other with Melon Mambo because we have that open. We're gonna stamp our birthdays are the best days in Melon Mambo. I just have a little strip right here. Birthdays are the best days. One of my good friends is having a birthday today, actually. So maybe this will be her birthday card now that I think about it. She lives just down the street, so I can uh, go drop it off in her mailbox was my plan, actually. Okay, next, let's see, we'll move this guy out of the way. Let's come bring this one back in. Now we are gonna do our pineapple punch. I call these the spriggy flowers. There's probably a real name for them, but this is spriggy, spriggy flower to me. So we're gonna stamp one right there. I almost feel like this ink pad needs to be inked up a little bit, but that's okay. I kind of like it that it's a little bit lighter. We're gonna do one there, and then we will do one right there, okay? There, that's brighter now. <laughs> After I said that, I found a real inky spot, of course. Okay, next step. So you can see how easy this is to just build. We're gonna use Granny Apple Green for the leaves. Okay, so again, just nice, easy tap, 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 and we're gonna put, and every one of these looks a little bit different, to be honest. It all starts with where I put my Fleur de Flamingo flower, and everything kind of builds around that. And that's all we're gonna do with our stamping there, okay? All right, scoot those out of the way. So I think we are ready to put our card together. So do you see how, like, look at how quick and simple and easy, but look at how gorgeous that is. And then you just add a little bit of texture and dimension with the pearls and whatever that is called. I think the braided, is it braided burlap? Yeah, braided burlap trim. This is retiring to, I'm trying to, um, when I list the products and item codes, I'm trying to put the word retiring after them um, on my blog so that you guys know. Those are the things you got to get them right away if you want them, okay? Um, so yeah, this um, braided burlap trim is retiring, and I just kind of used it. Actually, we're going to cut that right now. We'll pull it apart in a sec, but there we go. Kind of trim that off there. No, you know, no, we're gonna pull it apart in a sec because those little fibers get everywhere and I don't want them to get everywhere while I'm trying to put things together. Okay, so we are going to add, you guys have heard too, right? Snail and the snail refills are retiring. Um, I feel like maybe they were on low inventory or even on back order for a hot second. I think that they're back now, but get these while you can. I don't know anything other than Sarah and Shelly, again, in their video, said the new um, adhesive is awesome, and I'm sure it is. Um, so we will be learning more in the coming weeks about our new adhesive. That'll be one of the things I need to remember. It's a basic, not something that I usually think to order right away, but we're going to need to get that ordered so we can check it out and play with it. And I think there's, I can't remember what it's called, um, but whatever, it's an adhesive, and then there's like a mega adhesive. I'm assuming it's a little more like fast fuse, like it's a sturdier one. I'm pretty sure they said it's what they, you would use for 3D projects. So I'm super excited about that one. Okay, let's do, this is the Everyday Label Punch. You're right, Philomena, it is like the Healing Hugs, which is another one. I don't think that's retiring though. I have to check on that, but I don't think it is, which I'm happy about, right? Oops, definitely some adhesive stuck on here. 
<laughs> yes, try to order the Tombow and Snail every other order. Yeah, because you always need it, don't you? It's one of those boring things. It's kind of like cardstock, too. You know, <laughs> you can't really make many cards without it, but it's not very exciting to have to order, right? Where are my dimensionals? Here we go. I am going to use some minis because I want to, I'll explain this in a sec, I want to um, not have these touching the burlap. So I'm using the minis so that my burlap can go right through there. Um, <laughs> yeah, you have like the crying face there, Susan. I know, I know. Okay, so now this is my favorite thing to do with this. Do you see how you can just pull it apart? Oh, right. Yeah, Tombo's not retiring, right? But the snail is, right? Nikki, are you, I'm pretty sure it is um, because they're coming out with something new. I hope we're talking about the same thing. Snail and the refills are retiring. Tombo is not. If that's not true, let me know, Nikki. But I'm pretty sure that's the case. You guys are good at keeping up on things, though. Okay, so can you see? I'm just kind of pulling that apart. I love, I love that little shreddy there at the end. But what happens is, is it kind of bounces back. So I have to, I tend to keep kind of playing with it. Okay, so we're going to run that right along there, about like that. Okay. So we're going to just add some adhesive there. Oh, <laughs> you're talking about healing hugs. Okay, nope, it's not retiring. Good. Okay, I didn't think that it was. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Is that like squirrel? <laughs> oh my, you know, thank you. I'm glad. <laughs> oh boy, thanks, Nikki. Yes, I find it humorous. Maybe nobody else does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so like I said, we're going to run the burlap right in between there because I don't, I hate it. Hate, that's not a nice word. Um, I don't like it when um, things are lopsided. Like I don't want one coming up higher than the other, if that makes sense. Don't want this lopsided, right? Okay, so we got that. Now last step, I always, I just have to sprinkle. I'm like all about this sprinkling of um the pearls or rhinestones or whatever. We just have to put a few of these little babies around our card. I don't know. There's just something about it. So you can see those little fibers go everywhere. You probably can't, but I can. Okay, so there we go. Look at that. So see how simple that was? Just stamping basically, right? And then just add a little bit of texture there. So you could make this card too. Um, it's not included in the class to go, but it would certainly be easy. And I think I probably used all of these ink pad colors um, on my class to go cards too. But that super, super simple. You just need a little bit of burlap and um, some pearls and you're all set. Okay. And that's the fun thing about this stamp set is really, it's basically stamps and ink and cardstock, and then maybe a little bit of an embellishment. You really don't need much because the stamp set is so beautiful all on its own. And another shout out to Stampin' Up! because of the beauty of the coordination of our 